you have some some phalluses. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna say if I got some Doritos, I'm gonna like them. This is the club. Uh, we didn't get a knife. I thought it was supposed to be like half already, like, you know? No, it's half. They gave us half. So we have to cut the half in half. What? Mm -hmm. That's what I just got to explain it to you. And you made it seem like you knew already. I didn't know this. You thought it was full, two, two full sandwiches? Yeah, I thought it was like, we get half of this and the other sandwich. We both get it. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it was a mix and match deal. Like, <laughs> <laughs> no, that would be two sandwiches. Yeah, that would be two sandwiches. Like, what? Because yeah, we would have think it's for one person. Yeah, but if we would've got the regular, it would've been the full sandwich, though. $10. So we just paid and $10. And <laughs> yeah, and we just paid $10 for a half. You shake your head like, yeah. No, because I knew it. That's why I was like, generation, you understood. I knew it. That's why I was like, but she wanted us to try one of each. We was gonna get two of the same sandwiches. <laughs> Let's get to it then. That little bitty ass sandwich. Exactly. We're gonna go get second sandwich. Why do I have three loaves of bread on that? Just shut up. Just shut the camera. This doesn't make any sense. Come on, God, I don't want to touch it because. Look at this, y'all. Three slices of bread. You wanna try this? That's how I'm gonna try. This looks good too though. I wonder if you're gonna get a knife. We're just gonna rip it. Okay. You don't want the cement, right? No. Okay, rip it, yeah. This bread feels soft as hell. Oh my god, this is crunchy and like toast. Which one you want? You pick your place, I'm gonna pick mine. Okay, I'm gonna try this one. You wanna try that one first? Yeah. Oh, I gotta take the bacon. So. Okay, now I gotta add. No, I took the bacon off, I gotta put it on mine. That's it. It's on the other sandwich, too. Okay. Relax, nigga. Give it to me. That's like a whole bacon sandwich. <laughs> You want me to wait? Yes. Jay, <laughs> why would he do that? I don't know. Hurry up. Okay. I don't know. It's baking. I thought that was like salami or something. Okay. So let's save oh the best for last. Let's do this one. Juice calling. Okay. Let's see what this one tastes like. Okay. Let's try this one. So sweet. Okay, let me get this pickle because I know you don't want this pickle. Can we eat? Yes, I said let's do the worst for last. For, I mean, the worst for last. <laughs> the best. Yeah. Come on, Come let's on. do this one. Let's save the best for last. I know it's the best. Look at this. Look at this rip. This is horrible. <laughs> yeah, one job. You cannot wait. And then I said I want to eat it with you. Alright. This is good. Maybe that ain't the best one. Let me see. Ready? Mm -hmm.
the they bread, did. The bread better on there. Mm -hmm. I'm saving that one because that one's good. They're both good. Mm -hmm. But I'm going to take my time with this one. I don't care. I still got a full sandwich. I think the milk gonna be good too though. Exactly. But what was your um I feel like you do that. <laughs> what? <laughs> but what nigga? What'd you say? <laughs> Shut up. No, I should have got the full sandwich too. Yeah. Is this little? <laughs> you gotta try to spend it too fast. <laughs> Slow down. What were you saying? What was your favorite uh, struggle meal? To this day, it's an egg sandwich. Mm -hmm. I could do regular egg. I could do egg and bologna, mm -hmm. egg and bacon, egg and sausage. I miss that. I've never been a noodles girl. No. I never really cared for noodles either. I ain't gonna lie. Which one is them? My favorite struggle meal. I wanna say like a fried bologna sandwich, you know? Make sure the bologna pop, you know? You gotta make that bubble, and then you gotta put the pork in it. Mm -hmm. Pow, you know what I'm saying? And it's, the ends gotta be brown? Uh huh. Got to. My fault, yeah. Yeah. Um, what do you put on your bologna sandwich, though? You know, just mayo for real. Mm. I don't need nothing else. What do you use? For my bologna sandwich, I use mustard. Mustard. I can't really eat mustard on my sandwich, but that's like. I might do it sometimes, but like, like every time. No. But this honey mustard over here is actually good though. Mm -hmm. I ain't gonna lie. But like my eggs on here, I put mayonnaise. Yeah. You don't like cheese on yours though. Mm-mm. I like cheese on mine. Cheese is best. It messes up my eggs sandwich. I don't want that. So you won't eat it? Huh? If it's on um, a little sprinkle of cheese, yeah, you I might will. eat it. Mm -hmm. You will? I just don't prefer it, yeah. Okay. Cheese is like something that you put on to hide the taste. So, mm. not to hide the taste, but like, if it's not seasoned enough, go ahead and add some cheese on there. That mac and cheese. But my, <clears throat> excuse me. But I'm, I cook like this. If your mac and cheese is not good before you put the cheese on it, it's not gonna be good. You have to make sure you eat your noodles plain. So your mac and cheese be good without it. Because mm -hmm. when I do, I you know I season it up mm -hmm. before I add the cheese, so it has to taste good, like like I said, plain. Huh? And then I add the cheese. That's how much it's so good. It's alright. What is? Like if I had to scale it from one to ten, I put it like low eight point five. Huh? Exactly. But um, who was your favorite artist growing up? You're trying to get a reaction out of me. What? <laughs> no, growing up. What? No, go ahead, go ahead. What the oh, no. fuck? You got going on. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all see that shit? What you, what you got going on, man? Who's that? Who's that? Um, Beyonce. I love Beyonce. Like Destiny's Child, mm -hmm. um, Chris Brown, of course, mm -hmm. 
I don't care. Growing up, my favorite artist. Mmm. Mmm. It's crazy because I slip want to say like T Pain. Because you know, like, let me share fun back with you. My first ever ringtone was Body Your Dream by T Pain. When you said T Pain, I swear to God, that's the first song that came to my head. Yeah, that was my first ever ringtone. So I want to say T Pain was up there. Um, I listened to a lot of Ti. Mm. You know. Mhm. Mm I don't listen to him. You don't like you don't like Ti? I do, but I just don't listen to him though. Yeah. I don't um, have any music on my list. Really from like Cali though. So. But I fuck with a lot of music more than anything. But he old and I'm music. Mm -hmm. Like Young Joe. Yeah. And East Side Boys and all that shit. Mm -hmm. I'm listening to them. But. Yeah, oh, yeah. You think Bayou a Drink was like a bigger hit? His biggest hit? Mm -hmm. Over at Sprung? Yeah. You know how I many times that's played in random bars? Mm hmm. Just because, yeah. Oh, he's smart. That's like something Neo would do. Oh, this is smooth, though. Mm-hmm. You eating him? Yeah. I'm going to make sure we do it all. Yeah, I hear it again. So. This bread is better. What's one thing? You want to accomplish before the year over? Um, well, at the championship, I said I'm going to get monetized on every platform. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But, like, I haven't even tried to, you know, to work on Snapchat, which I should, but I haven't. But Instagram is not going to let me achieve that goal. Can't think like that. That's why I be telling you, I be like, keep posting, fuck it. Like, don't let that shit stop you. They gonna have to. It's like, they're not gonna be able to just not pay you. Mm -hmm. They want you to stop. You know what I'm saying? So they ain't got no reason to pay you. You gotta think like that. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But to answer your question, I just wanna be more successful like how can I say like regardless of what it is like it could say like you know I, I gain more followers or I'm getting more money or something like that whatever it is I don't want to put like just something like so whatever it is I just want to see myself elevated and that's what I'll be satisfied with just you know a step closer than what I am right now mm -hmm. to anything that's gonna, you know, let me be, you know, be successful in your life. Because I don't know, you know, I'm a Gemini, so I be changing stuff that I wanna do. So, if you had a specific goal that you wanted to accomplish before the end of the year, what would that be? I would say. to lose a little bit of weight. <laughs> That's good. So what's the, you want to say like what? 10 pounds? Mm-hmm. That's good. Because that says something. Mm-hmm. So yeah. That's good. Okay. And I also, okay, and here's the real one for him. Mm -hmm. I want to move though. So bad. Like new house? Yeah. So I gotta manifest it. It's definitely a goal though. I'm ready to move into like my own place. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
And I'm gonna ask you yours. Uh huh. Oh. Discipline schedule for posting on YouTube. I'm gonna do like had it already in, already in motion by the time next year comes. You know what I'm saying? With me being like consistent and stuff on there, and obviously, you know what I'm saying. I so, wonder. Sorry. I want to be at like 10k. You know, I want to hit 10k mm -hmm. by the end of the year on YouTube. What you consider? But why do you think you're not consistent on YouTube? You don't post every day. Yeah. Now, but I'm not, why? I'm not consistent, like. You can do it because you do it on Facebook. Exactly. And that's what I'm saying. That's why I'm finna like lock in on YouTube now. Like I had a here, I'm finna hit like 200 k on Facebook. So I'm like, all right, cool. Now I'm finna lock in somewhere else. You know, like how I did that. I did it in like two, three months. Got it going. I'm gonna do the same thing over here. Just imagine. If you put all that time you did on Facebook into a YouTube. Because I'm the same way, like, I just be focused on one. But you never know. You you know how you had almost like 200K? Yeah. If you would have just been locked in on each platform and posted on each platform, your YouTube probably would have been more than that. Yeah. Yeah, I think really what it was, I just had to figure out what it worked. Like seeing from me. Mm -hmm. So once I won that Facebook audience over, because it's so hard to win, I was like, all right, that's cool. Because they're not messing me with it. They do, though. <laughs> cool. But thanks for tuning in with the milk bang. We're going to get through it. I might have another video for y'all, though. After this, too. So, wait, what time is it? We're gonna see. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. Go subscribe to Taze. She's gonna be in the comment, I mean, in the description down below. You wanna say something? Um, yeah, keep that in your life. You know what I'm saying? So, I always stay prayed up. But, before we go, rate the, um, rate the food. It'll be ready. First time having it. It was yeah. good. One through ten. Ten. It was yeah. good. Ten? Wait, but I have to take out all the stuff. So what, did that bring it down a notch? Nah. It's still everything that came from the galaxy. It's good to me. It's pretty good. It's like Subway. Yeah. I feel like it's like a... You know how it's a Walmart, Target, Publix? This is the Publix of sandwiches. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Sure. Y'all see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Yeah. For sure. I like it a lot. Mm -hmm. There was a stingy with the meat, the cheese. Next okay. time, I'm going to pull it down with go. Yeah, me too. I'm going to pull it down. But I am full though. Yeah, I am. It's, it's enough. You know what I'm saying? But I will catch y'all in the next video, man. Hit that like button. Subscribe. We got it. I've been just gotta go fast. I've been just gotta go fast. I've been just gotta go fast.